Colleagues, innovation is always an opportunity, but only if you are able to steer it. And you have to do it before it makes you obsolete. You have to steer it in a direction that benefits, not harms, our economy, our society, our humanity. This AI Act is our timely attempt to control the future developments before they control us. Yes, this law is weaker than the regulation that we as this parliament have wished, but it is better, much better than no regulation at all, than an AI Wild West. And in many areas, this law is a pioneer work. Yes, we would have loved to see a complete ban on biometric facial recognition or a comprehensive prohibition of behavioral observation by AI. But the fact that indiscriminate mass surveillance is no more possible, that we have bans like emotion recognition vis-a-vis -vis students and employees, that we introduced fundamental rights assessment, environmental obligations, regulation of foundational models, all these shows that Europe is a continent that feels the pulse of history also in the digital age. What is next? Now we need investments and we need support of AI technology made in Europe. This is the next challenge. And yes, we are facing it. We are accepting it now.